to tell us more about luna soft landing technology and what this means for indian future science missions we're joined by dr k shivan former chairman isro so please tell us once lunar soft landing happens what does this mean and does it mean that india can here on land on other planets as well uh I, in fact uh, this is one technology we acquired uh, for land soft landing that is a one part but uh, to land in the other planets yeah, this technology alone is not sufficient some more things are required for example if we wanted land in the mars what required is there is in addition to the gravity the mars have the atmosphere also so it has some more criticality but definitely this forms a basis for the landing technology but some more improvements required to go to other uh, landing in other planets also so by being the first nation to soft land near the south pole what technological advantages and head start does india gain see by that landing uh, near south pole which is unexplored region this one and uh, definitely that is that uh, all the scientists globally uh, uh, feel that some new science can be discovered in this region that way this particular chandrayaan 3 mission is a very very important and where it will be giving a global community that side that required data for doing their discoveries and sir what does chandrayaan 3 mean for india in the longer run in terms of uh, you know further deep space missions and lunar exploration sir definitely this particular uh, the technology whatever we are getting by soft landing this will be useful for uh, enhancing our exploration and in, in the future or uh, exploration to that other planets also for the science of that other uh, planets all these things it will be definitely be useful and it will be giving a boost to the activity so chandrayaan 3 soft landing will be a significant boost to india's future space missions and deep space exploration missions with video journalist chandrashekar from bengaluru siddharth mp we on world is one